Easter lilies are about to start dropping in stores. There's a certain process for receiving these as well as how we want to display them. We'll go over both of these steps here shortly and hopefully by the end of this you've got a good grasp on what we need to get done. So first uh, break down the list a little bit and then we'll go step by step. Uh, these are a purchased item, not a pay by scan item. So before we do anything with them, we've got to make sure that the racks go back to receiving and that they are received by Home Depot into their system. Uh, they will enter it in and give us a key rack number, which they will then stick to the bill of lading, the BOL, uh, that then we'll need to use that number to enter into our system as well as for the end plan we'll be creating. Uh, I'll go over some of the steps with that as well. Once they've received them in through Home Depot, we can go ahead and move them out to our you know, staging area where we're going to be setting them up on tables. Make sure you hold on to that BOL and that, that key rec is on there. They're very important. So this is the BOL after they've received it. Make sure that the quantities are right, which they should be verifying. Then they'll key them into their system. They'll put the sticker on here, which will have this key rec number on it. That's very important. Make sure you get that. That's what we need to enter into our system. Another thing that you'll notice on the BOL, if you look at the top, it'll have the customer uh, ID number as well as our ship to ID, which is our store number. 2500 is important because it's the PO system that we need to go into on Pocket Evo versus the PBS, the pay by scan system. So now that we've got that taken care of, we just need to go into Pocket Evo. So log in like normal. Then you're going to go to store sign in. You're going to make sure you go by entry, not by location, because we need to go into the PO system. You're going to enter in uh, 25,000 in the location, and then the customer ID is your store number, where you're just going to make sure it's a four digit. So if you need to add a zero in front, do that. So now that we've got that done, you're going to go back to order receiving, enter your key rec in the top box up here. Then you're going to go to where you can enter a new BOL. And all you got to do here is scan the picture of it. And that's all you've got to do. Um, make sure that you go down to the bottom to where you can enter the amount that was received. And then you can click that complete button on the top there. That way we show that we received all the correct uh, amount as well as the BOL is entered and the key rec number. The M plan that you're going to have to complete will just ask for some photos as well as that key rec number to be entered. And so just make sure you hold on to that until you get that M plan done as well. Then you can start getting your display set up, which should be at least an 8-foot table inside the store, where you can mix it with floral if you don't have enough to fill the whole table. Um, but you do want to make sure that you have those displayed inside the store somewhere in a high traffic area. These are some examples of some different displays that we had from last year. We should have different signage this year, uh, but just uh, get some ideas on how you want to set those up. Make sure you keep them all together, um, and then... They will just be in the foil uh, outside wrapper, uh, but we should be able to water easily. If you have any questions, reach out to management. Thank you.